What's going on everybody, it's G-Spot here I'm bringing you a uh, tutorial video and even though I already have one of these videos out I plan on doing a little bit more uh, mainly because it's, it's kind of geared specifically to a certain type of setup um, this video it's how to stream on Twitch TV using the software XSplit while using a uh, HD PVR box like a Hopog or Hopage however you want to pronounce it um, this is a setup that I use and I know a lot of people out there use the same type of setup mainly the uh, the Hopog or PVR box setup and uh, I plan on doing videos that are using different software and also using different websites to uh, to stream so moving right along I'll go into what this video is about as I said streaming on Twitch TV using XSplit uh, while using a HD PVR box so I'm gonna have to assume a lot of things. You're gonna have to assume that you already have a Twitch TV account. If you don't, obviously you have to create one. You also have an XSplit account. That way you're able to log in to the XSplit software so you can stream. And also, with your HD PVR box, for example with mine, it came with a program called uh, Total Media Extreme. This is what I use when I want to make videos for YouTube. I, uh, I pretty much open this program up and it shows exactly what uh, what's on my screen so this is what I have on my screen now if I were to want to record videos for YouTube I hit capture it saves a file onto my hard drive I edit it and then upload it to YouTube but I'm not doing that I'm not recording videos I'm streaming live onto Twitch TV so what I want to do and this is what I do every single time I uh, I'm gonna stream I don't know if it's an OCD thing I don't know if it actually does anything but I want to resize this window so it's a little bit bigger and the way to do that if you're using uh, Total Media Extreme um, it might be a different method for whatever software that you're using uh, generally if you're able to right click up, click up here or click it usually brings up a drop down menu but for whatever reason it doesn't the way to access it, access it is to hit the, hold down the alt button and your space bar that'll bring up the menu that you're looking for I'm pretty sure that's generic for any uh, for any application that you have open alt space will bring up that menu and what I want to do is I want to resize so I'm just going to hit the S button to size and now I'm going to move my right arrow key all the way to the edge of my screen that way I'm able to uh, resize the preview box and then all the way to the bottom right at the top of my taskbar and this is generic this is what I do all the time when I'm streaming to wherever using whatever software hit enter save those settings and then I'll go ahead and open up my uh, my XSplit and again this is assuming that you have a uh, XSplit account go ahead and log in and it takes a while yeah. XSplit is known for taking a long time to load up and uh, I'm not a big fan of XSplit because there's a lot of features that you have to pay for to use whereas other software programs out there give you the exact same options and then some at a at a free at a free cost so you know I'd rather pay nothing than than something I guess but anyways that's just my personal preference um, there we go XSplit is now open I'm gonna ahead and close these things out I'll open up later on just to show you what I do I have XSplit open and I have my uh, my preview pane for my PVR software open on the right so this screen right here this is what people will see when uh, when you're streaming live there's nothing there now so what I want to do is I want to add and in this case I'm gonna add screen region uh, I forgot to mention there's there's actually two methods that I use now to stream live I use this method which is the screen region but also with XSplit I'm able to actually use the source of my um, my PVR software the uh, the total media extreme capture module it actually recognizes it and I can input that directly but I'll do that after I'll show you what I do but this is what I used to do all the time uh, I would do screen region it's a little tough to see because it's all black um, actually what I'm gonna do to make this much easier is I'm gonna go to my dashboard that way uh, the edges are, are more clear so basically this is what it captured right now for the screen cap that's not what I want I'm gonna go ahead and delete that uh, I'll go to add screen region it's much easier to see the uh, the outline and I want to choose the preview pane 
So this is basically what people will see right here. I want to make this full screen because I want my viewers to see what I'm doing full screen. I've made a full screen. I can add different uh, different effects like an overlay. So media file. There's a lot of things here that you can choose from. You can choose from Skype uh, Skype call. You can actually choose a game specifically. Um, PC games, not like Xbox games. Uh, so in this case, I want to do a media file, for example, and I'm going to do the overlay. I use an overlay, so that way people can see my YouTube channel. Like I promote my YouTube channel, my uh, my Twitter account, stuff like that. So uh, I'll go ahead and make that full screen as well, and you'll see the overlay right here. So this is what people will see when you start the stream. Um, one thing I do want to mention is you want to be careful what you have here because you're doing a screen region capture. You want to make sure that this area or whatever area you're capturing is free from uh, your mouse uh, you know like an accidental window open sometimes I plug in my iPhone and that box will appear you know like you know transfer photos or whatever and it'll be right in the dead center of this area right here and I won't even notice because I'm too busy gaming and then I'll look over and I'll see that it's up and I'm like oh, I'm all pissed because for the past two three minutes people have been watching me play but at the same time they've been watching this box that's totally in their way and they can't see what's going on so make sure you're aware of what's in front of this area here because um, that's exactly what people will see alright so moving right along I have my setup um, but I also need to set up my uh, my channel settings so I already have my settings uh, set up uh, I'm not going to do it all over again because it's kind of useless I guess uh, what I will do is I'll just go through my current settings and the ex exact same things as if I were to add I can't add the same one because it's based off your Twitch TV account it's already there um, so I'll go ahead and edit that channel and I'll go through the settings step by step not all of them because I'm not familiar with every single setting but I'll show you exactly the ones that I know of um, top part it's pretty much basic if you have a twitch TV account then you should have a username and password um, it'll either accept your your password or your stream key um, now to get your stream key what you need to do is you have to log in you'll see that I'm already logged in here I log out you gotta log into your twitch account and you gotta go to the uh, twitch TV slash broadcast and if you hit show key it'll give you a whole array of random keys and you just gotta copy that into your settings right here into your stream key settings that's what they want so uh, I'm not gonna do that because then you'll be able to see what my stream key is and you could use that to stream whatever and blah 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 so but that's how you get your stream key um, if you don't want to do that you can put in your password works just as well this auto populates once you uh, once you put it in um, the next section here is the location uh, what you want to do is you want to choose what's green. Red is bad, too much delay. Yellow, it's not as bad, but obviously you're looking for anything in the green area. Um, I have four sections here that are green. Dallas, San Antonio, Ashburn, Virginia, and uh, Chicago. And out of all those, it seems to me that the uh, I get the least amount of ping with Chicago. And I get a pretty steady jitter, so it's not so bad. So I'll go ahead and select that as my main server you want to select one that's closest to you don't leave that default because it'll just choose whatever make sure you choose a location that's close to you um, the next section here it's your your bitrate I have 10 megabytes upload it's not consistently at 10 megabytes but it's supposed to be 10 megabytes so what I'll do is I'll put uh, 4 megabytes in here so I'll put 4000 kilobits per second I think that amounts to uh, 4 megabytes per uh, megabyte upload 4000, leave that there. Mode, I leave that default. I don't change that. I think there's two options CBR and VBR. Don't know what they are, so I'll leave that as default. Um, the next section right below that, you want to click this little circle here, and that'll bring up your settings. Quality, 10. I want good quality all the time. This I'll leave default. Not exactly sure what it means. Uh, your encoder preset, this is pretty much dependent on how powerful your computer is. Uh, if you don't, if you have a slow computer, then very fast, super fast might be your option. Um, but this is basically on the compression that uh, that your computer will do to compress video so that viewers can watch what you're streaming. And the faster, fast, medium, slow that's for high-powered PCs. If you don't have a high-powered PC, then you'll just end up bogging and lagging your system 
to the point where everything is almost slow motion, out of sync, and it won't be too. Uh, it won't. Your, your viewers won't be impressed. It's, it's not. A, it's not a pleasant viewing experience. So, uh, I suggest leaving that on default very fast. And this seems to mimic exactly what I put here. I put four thousand here. It'll put four thousand there. So I'll leave that default as well. Uh, you can, I guess, you can play around with it to see what's best for you. But uh, uh, if anything, maybe Google VBV buffer. Read more on it. I just whatever's default, I'll leave as is. Uh, video size. I'm gonna leave that blank as well because I changed my my resolution in another location. And I'll click out of that. And now for my audio, uh, I choose whatever is anything over 128 kilobits per second. So 160 is good and I want stereo. I'll leave it like that. Everything else in default I won't touch and I'll just hit OK. And I'm almost ready to start the stream. I have two windows open. I've got my preview here. I've got my what people will actually see on my right, left, separated from each other. If you notice if I overlap them you'll notice here it's overlapped. So again you want to be careful not uh, not putting anything in the way of this area right here that you screen captured. So I have those two things open and I'm almost at the process of beginning the stream. I'm going to go to my channel to get a better look at what's going on. And here we go. So before I actually start to broadcast, uh, there's two other settings that I want to change. I want to change my frames per second and my resolution. So resolution, go to view the top of your uh, broadcast XSplit uh, software resolution and I have it set to 1280 by 720 um, and this is all depending on you know how much upload you're able to uh, produce how fast your computer is that all determines on how good of a resolution you're able to stream and so just play around with that until there's something comfortable that you can use uh, and even if you have like a high upload maybe your you know maybe your ISP or I don't know what they call it. Uh, they regulate your upload because you're uploading too much or whatever. I don't know. But just play around with it. Whatever works for you. Um, just try those settings out. And that's for the resolution now. For the frame rate, uh, ideally anything over or 30, 30 frames per second is ideal. I think uh, with XSplit you're maxed out at 25. And if you pay, then you're able to do more. So again, that's something else that you'll have to uh, you'll have to play with. Now... Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when I start the stream. I'm not going to speak when I do it because I get a huge feedback from uh, from the uh, from the video. So I'm not going to try anything. I'm going to only get, I'm going to only stream for a few seconds just to give you a general idea general idea of what uh, what ends up happening. So I'll move this down a little bit. I'll go to broadcast and G spot test. Alright, that was a quick little test. I just went offline, I stopped my broadcast. But that's basi basically what uh, what you'd end up seeing. And this is one of the ways that I used to stream uh, on Twitch TV, but now, because I do have a much better computer, better processor, uh, I'm able to do this option with, uh, with no problems whatsoever. I'm going to keep the overlay on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add camera, I'm going to add my Hopog HD PVR. It actually recognize it as an option as a video option so once I click that you'll notice that it says camera is not available the reason why it does that I actually have to close out of my of my uh, total media extreme software so I'm gonna close that out and after a few seconds it should show up as what I have there we go and I'll go ahead and make that full screen as well boom so we have a full screen my overlay is not there 
I just have to make it priority so I'm gonna go ahead and hit up prioritize it it's at the top and now you'll see it up here and what I like about this feature is that I don't have to worry about anything that's in front of it you know I could have a full screen doesn't matter I could have it in the background but people always see what is inputted into my XSplit and another reason why I like it is that the quality and the uh, and not the lag but like the frame rate it looks so much better when I have it using this method than if I do a uh, screen uh, screen capture area um, I don't know why it just it just seems a lot better so my viewers they notice right away I've got a lot of good feedback this way but again this is all based on how uh, how good of a computer you have so if you do this method and it doesn't seem to be working out for you uh, either try a lesser resolution using the same method but if not then uh, you might have to uh, use a screen capture uh, screen region capture method instead so I've given you two ways of doing it to uh, I mean these are ways that a lot of people do it so hopefully this video helps you out uh, if you have any comments questions uh, definitely send me a message I'll do my best to get back to you and um, I will be making more videos using different softwares and different uh, websites that offer streaming. I only use two to be honest. I use Twitch TV and I also use uh, YouTube to uh, stream live as well. So those are going to be my two main programs that I'll be talking about. Or sorry, not programs, but uh, websites. And for software, I mean, there's a lot of software. There's Wirecast, there's um, XSplit, which is what I'm showing you now. There's OBS, Open Broadcast Software there's a flash media encoder and I'll do videos for those as well and hopefully that'll help you out so look out for those again if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't obviously give it a thumbs down and uh, this is G-Spot out